Hi, I'm Laura, and I'm one of millions of Americans who took remedial courses in college. These courses help students brush up on basic math and reading skills before earning credits toward a degree. Like many students, I thought I was academically prepared for college. I was always on my high school honor roll, and I even took advanced courses. Being told I wasn't ready for college was a huge hit to my confidence and self-esteem. Even when I caught up, I still didn't feel like I belonged on campus or that I was prepared to get my degree. Now, I'm working with higher ed, not debt, to draw attention to the pervasive issue of remedial education. Remedial courses are a drain on taxpayers and they make college even more expensive because they cost money like any other college class. Each year, remedial courses cost students and their families approximately $1.3 billion. And while I was able to graduate on time because I caught up so quickly, many students who take remedial courses are less likely to graduate at all. Okay, so who takes remedial courses? Let's take a look. This isn't an isolated issue. Research shows that between 40 and 60% of first-year college students require remediation in English, math, or both and low-income students and students of color are disproportionately affected. 56% of black students and 45% of Latino students enroll in remedial education, compared to 35% of white students. The money students spend on remedial education just exacerbates the student debt crisis. You can see on our website how your state fares on our state-by-state -state breakdown. And if this information concerns you, reach out to your elected representative using our tool and let them know that this is a problem. Thanks for watching.